finally, it's time for a showdown. Sonnet 3.7 just launched today. And also, I saw this amazing post by Ben Dower on X about this 3D game that he made. So I figured, why not put Grok 3 up against Sonnet 3.7 that just came out? So I'm going to use this prompt, which he included in his post. It says, build a 3D maze game. He has some libraries and dependencies. He sets up the whole scene. He puts a lot of details in this. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go right into Grok and I'm going to paste that in here. I just did this a minute ago just so we could be ahead. And I said, here's the prompt. I want you to take this game to the next level. I want you to make the graphics better, the gameplay better, add a bunch of other things. I want you to be creative as much as possible. I want this to be the best viral game that I could share on eggs and blow people's minds. So I meant to say on X, but I think it'll get the point. So it's thinking. And let's see what it comes up with. So here's the first result. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then go into Replit, which uses Sonnet 3.7. They just announced it today. And I'm going to put the same exact thing here and see what it creates. So I'm going to come right back. So we're going to basically put the two side by side and see what it can actually come up with. So it took all the stuff. So it says enhanced feature, graphic improvements, gameplay enhancements, and creative additions. So complete file. So now we're going to go back to Grok. This is a visual preview. So right now it's loading. And then we're gonna launch a new window to Replit. By the way, it's an amazing no-code AI tool. I absolutely love Replit. And it's nice that they got Sonnet 3.7 today. So you'll be able to actually use that. So now we're gonna go and paste that code and say, launch this app and hit enter. So we're essentially gonna have two builds. So we're gonna have our first one. So here it is. I'm actually curious to see what this is. I've actually never done this. So it's loading the assets, which is already a good thing. So we pretty much have a full game. So I just read what it says here. Mission briefing, navigate through the procedural generated maze, collect valuable intelligence and find the extraction point. Beware of enemy soldiers patrolling the area. Use power-ups wisely to complete your mission. So it literally created game logic, it sounds like, without one prompt by me just saying, make it more interesting. So let's take a look here. I saw this earlier, actually. So this is a 3D augmented reality this is really basic 3D stuff. So we're about to blow that out of the water, I think. I saw this is really cool. So this is a 3D single and multiplayer game. So 3D movement. This actually looks pretty cool. It's a shooter up. You're kind of running around in this 3D space. I do like that. What have we got here? Actually, so someone's doing the same exact test. I asked Rock 3 and Cloud 3.7 to create the same game. We got some 3D mobile game on iPhone. That's <laughs> so fun. It's amazing that you can build this. Ooh, that's pretty slick. Space shooter game where you have to fly around and zip around different planets. We got obviously simple attempt at Tetris. And actually while this is going, uh, my name is Marcin AI. I am a no code AI dev. I make all kinds of different projects, games, different clones. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Um, we really have an amazing community called the No Code AI Army. I think we just crossed 2000 members today. Uh, let's see, 2,068 members. It's absolutely exploding. We have so many different people, collaborators, creators, engineers, uh, marketers, all kinds of different people, designers, people just starting out or some professional 25-year engineers. So I don't want to bore you with that, but yeah, if you guys want, all the links are below, but let's get back to this. So, so we got a couple errors that I see, but it's fixing. And by the way, this is the agent version two early access that I have on Replit using Sonnet 3.7. If you guys are just curious. So I had one little update. It just, uh, there was an error and it wouldn't load. So this is the first one, Maze Runner. Oh, let's see. So the movement is definitely a little strange, but look what we got here. This is pretty crazy. So we got some objects. The movement, it picks up. So I'm picking up. So the goal is to pick up these objects. It definitely works. So there is full on gameplay here. Wow. This is pretty crazy. Obviously, we'll fix the movement. That's an easy fix. But look at everything. It's keeping score. It's keeping track. I got to pick up all the objects. So obviously, we could keep tweaking this. But this is, again, one prompt with one error. And this is the result that we got. Oh, the little guy is actually running, too. So that's perfect. And then we're going to start the other version, which is going to be the Grok 3 version. So this is the Sonnet 3.7 version. Pretty impressive. So here's what we have so far. It basically took the basic prompt and created a game. There's a clock, there's levels, there is actual gameplay, there's logic. You have to actually pick up different parts of the game. I don't see any enemies. It mentioned there was gonna be enemies, but this is a massive leap from one simple prompt as this demo to an actual game that has an environment, moving components, a 360 degree mouse moving space, which we will have now, 
and also logic. You have to pick up pieces and keep score. It has different levels to it already. That's pretty insane just with one pump. So imagine what you can do after spending an hour doing this or even a day doing this. You could probably build out a pretty dope game. So let's see what happens with this thing and it will, if it will activate my 360 degree camera with one prompt. Because the one thing, as you know, with all these no-code tools is it's easy to make initial setups, but it's harder to fix things. So right now, all I asked is for it to enable the camera to move, but is it gonna break other pieces? And that's always the big test for these no-code tools. But I think it's gonna do a great job. Sonnet 3.5 might have struggled with this, but I have a feeling 3.7 is gonna do a really good job with it. And using Replit, here we go, so we're actually not gonna waste any more time. That was actually a pretty quick fix. So let's see if we get what we want. So let's go continue. Actually, let's go hard. So there's actually difficulty too. Look at that, that's crazy. There you go, look at that. We got full 360 degree movement. This is pretty impressive. I could zoom in, I could zoom out. There's the whole map. Massive improvement of what I expected. Gameplay, mechanics, it works. So next we're gonna shift gears and we're going to close that. So we're gonna stop this and then we're gonna go and now we're going to say launch this app. And if you remember, what I did here was I went in and I had Grok3 take the initial prompt and enhance it. And then we took it into Replit and say, just launch this app. Do not change the game or the code. Only make sure you can launch it. So in order for this test to really work, I don't want it to change it. I don't want Sonnet 3.7 to change it, right? We're going to use the Grok3 code and we just need Replit to basically launch this app with the Grok3 code base. So here we go. So here is the result. I got movement. The map looks a little, I don't know if it's maybe just out of bounds. I'm not able to move. All looks great, but I have no movement, period. But here's the crazy thing. Look at the lack of creativity. There is no gameplay. There is no keeping score. There is no levels. I gave it the same prompt, remember. I said, take this game and enhance it and make it viral and make it better. So right now I must say that it's completely failed on that task and Replit using Sonnet 3.7 is that an insane job with the creativity part because so here is now I can't even move. So that's completely failed the task. So Grok 3 with that prompt. So right away, I can tell you, Huge win for Sonnet, huge win for Replit. Let's go back and look at it again. Let's just run it just to compare the two. Remember, same prompt and I said, be creative and go to town. This map isn't even working. Look, the map is not overlaid correctly, completely busted, which is a big disappointment. Let's see what it's asking me. Can you now use the arrows? And then here is our game that we created using. So the movement, like I said, just needs to be fixed. But look at that, it's keeping score. This is way cooler, way cooler. All right, so that's one win for Replit using Sonnet 3.7. Here's our little guy, and we just created a full game. Look at this. Here's our whole environment, pixel perfect. There's no issues anywhere. It's all complete. It's even got some shading effects. Our guy can walk around and pick up stuff. The movement is still a little weird, but I can fix that really easily. And uh, that'll do it for now. Thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate the prompt. And uh, let's keep it going. I'm going to do another game soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. My name is Marcin AI. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely give a follow. If you guys want to watch some more demos, I build a bunch of different projects. And uh, you come join our group, and uh, we have some fun doing uh, no-code builds. So on to the next project, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.